So I'm excited to be here today. Um, I want to talk about how the Washington Post built a new software as a service business powered by ECS. I think it's a really interesting story, and it's, uh, it's one that really um, I'm excited about. So if you're not familiar with the Washington Post, um, we're a major news publisher with more than 95 million monthly visitors and a billion page views. Over the last few years, the Washington Post has seen tremendous growth, and the engine behind this growth has been an equal focus on excellence in journalism and technology innovation. Um, because technology innovation is such an important part of this growth story, we wanted to take the same technology um, that powers the Washington Post and build a business out of it. And so we launched a business called Arc Publishing. At its core, Arc Publishing is a fast and efficient CMS for modern publishers. Speed and innovation for readers, newsrooms, and developers are the core goals of Arc Publishing. Many years ago, the Washington Post had a, uh, an architecture very similar to other uh, major news publishers. We had a commercial monolithic CMS, and all the content was stored in one application and database stack. The problem with this architecture is that it makes innovation difficult because it reduces the flexibility to experiment with new ideas. We gradually migrated to a new architecture where each content type is stored in its own microservice. So in this example, we have a video, story, and photo service that are all separate. They have their own application and database stacks. The benefit of this architecture is it allows us to independently develop and deploy each of these. And this architecture increases the rate of experimentation, leading to higher quality product. When we launched Arc Publishing, we wanted to bring the same innovative architecture to our customers. Because our microservice architecture was designed for just a single tenant, the Washington Post, um, there was no native support for multiple tenants. So this was a real problem for us. This meant that each Arc Publishing customer would need their own copy of each microservice. Although we considered re-architecting all of our services to be multi-tenant, we realized that would significantly delay the launch of Arc Publishing. So instead, we decided to clone the environments for each Arc Publishing customer. This allowed us to quickly iterate with real users and to launch the business, but it made scaling the business very challenging. To put these scaling challenges into context, we needed a platform that supported more than 50 deployments an hour across 100 unique microservices. And in our infrastructure, this translated into over 150 ECS cluster instances and many thousands of Docker containers. Adding to our challenge, we had a DevOps culture, which means there was no dedicated operations team to manage this infrastructure. And unlike a traditional software company, we had limited engineering resources to focus on these scaling challenges. To solve these scaling challenges, we built a container platform powered by ECS that we call Nile. Nile takes Docker containers as the unit of deployment and schedules those containers across multiple ECS clusters. Nile made it easy to port our existing technology to Docker containers that can then run on ECS. Nile also keeps track of tenant containers so that we can quickly update a particular microservice across our entire environment and keep that rate of experimentation high. The Nile platform is also designed for reliability because Arc Publishing customers are some of the top media companies in the world with very demanding uptime and performance requirements. Building Nile and ECS allowed us to take our limited engineering resources and focus those on building new customer features instead of managing infrastructure. And we're able to do this without a dedicated operation team to manage our environment. Thank you.